Hi, my name is David. Today we're going to do number 1544, make the string great. This is an easy level problem on LeetCode. I want to solve it in JavaScript. So in this function, in this problem, we're giving a function that takes an S. S is a string. And we want it to have, we want to return a new string. So it, it's a, is a, a good string. And a good string is when there's no, none of this case and just to explain it is when there's no lowercase and upper, there's a no lowercase character and uppercase character that are the same next to each other. And they have to be a lowercase to uppercase. Like this is lowercase to lowercase, even though there's the same letter, they, they, it's fine. They don't have to be deleted. But since these are both E's, one's lowercase and one is uppercase, and they're adjacent to each other, we have to remove that. And once we remove all these bad cases of a lowercase uppercase, we return a new string. So in order to solve this, the strategy we're gonna use is using a stack. And to use a stack, we have to iterate through this and we gradually push through the stack. And if it meets the criteria, we keep adding it. If it doesn't meet the criteria, we pop off the last character and not add the one that doesn't move since there's two of them that we don't have to add. So just the pseudocode, first we create a stack, stack array. And we're gonna use an array at first and then push it to this array and then join it as a string because string concatenation is O of n squared. Rather this using array will just be O of n. Okay, so first we create the stack array. Next we loop through S. And once we loop through S, we have to create a condition. Condition if, if it's a bad pair. And this is going to be just vague right now because the other part, the else, is, it starts off at the else. Condition if it doesn't, if the current character makes it a bad pair. We pop, pop remove the last element from the array or pop, remove last element from array. And because it doesn't go to this first, to, to start off, we'll have to add it to the array. That's why we have to focus on the else first. So else we push the element to the array. And once we finish this loop, we just return the stack joined to a string. Okay. And this goes into more detail and is where the code gets more fancy. But this is just that general idea and I'll code it out to make it more sense. But basically the first statement, if if it if we see one with there's a capital and a lowercase, there's a bad pair. So we will not have we'll move the last one and not add what we're currently looking at. And to solve it, first we do create the stack array. That stack equals an array. Next we loop through S. s.length i plus plus and now we do this if so if something if it doesn't meet the criteria we I'll format it at the end we stack dot pop okay and then else we stack dot push s index of i. And after this root loop, we just return stack dot join as a string. Okay, so now let's go into detail more about, about this part. So first thing, when we first look at it, there's nothing gonna be in it. So there's no length to it. So if it doesn't meet that criteria, we will always have to push. So 
the first condition if stack dot length is true. And the first iteration, it won't be true. And then next, we want to compare it. Okay. So we have to compare. So first we loop do and we add L. Next we we want to add E. So we have to compare this one to this, right? So we compare X index of I. And we gotta compare it. So the, the general strategy we're gonna use is we're gonna turn turn it, look at the ASCII to it and find the absolute value because if you minus the capitalization by lowercase, either way, if you get the map map absolute value, it doesn't matter if the this one's uh absolute uh capitalized or the second one's uh, capitalized. That's why we get the capitalization. We get the we get the ASCII and then you subtract it, and then if that's subtraction, that difference is 32, we know we can pop it. So this one dot char code at, and that's just a JavaScript method. Minus the math that absolute. So this is the absolute we're looking at. And then we're taking this, what we're looking at here. So we're starting off the second one. We're getting ASCII, the charcoal app, converting this to ASCII. And then you minus this from what we have in the stack. So we do stack. And we have to look at the last one index. So it starts off with this one. So the length of it minus one will, how, will be how we get it. Stack dot length minus one. Let me scoot this. Dot charcoal at so this if it equals to thirty two. There we go. We know the pop else we just push it. Let's test it. There might be a typo. So let's submit it. Great. So this problem, the, the complexity, time complexity, we know that we're looping through uh, the length of S. So it's gonna be O of N. And then also the space complexity we are creating a stack that could be the longest, the string. So it's going to be over one. So that's how we solve this problem. I know it's, it's kind of confusing for me at first to understand the stacks, but this is the idea of you push pop it and you see the condition to pop it if it meets that condition. And that's how you solve this problem. Thank you.